Hello students, hope you are all fine. Today we will discuss the expression and the working of the Van de Graaff generator. So Van de Graaff generator is a very uh, important device uh, in electrostatics. So the principle of this Van de Graaff generator, uh, first we will discuss. So let us consider two charged conducting spherical shells such that one is smaller and other is larger. When the smaller one is kept inside the larger one and connected together, charge from smaller one is transferred to larger shell irrespective of the higher potential of the larger shell. That is, you can say the charge resides on the outer surface of the outer shell and the potential of the outer shell increases considerably. Sharp pointed surfaces of a conductor have large surface charge densities and hence the electric field created by them is very high compared to the dielectric strength of the dielectric. So therefore air surrounding these conductors get ionized and the like charges are repelled by the charge point dead conductors causing discharging action known as corona discharge or action of points. The spread charges moving with high speed cause electric wind. Opposite charges are induced on the teeth of the collecting comb or conductor you can say and again opposite charges are induced on the outer surface of the collecting sphere or dome you can say. So for the construction of this Van de Graaff generator actually Van de Graaff generator consists of a large copper spherical shell is given by capital S supported on an insulating stand it is in the figure you can see it is IS which is of several meters high above the ground. So a belt made of insulating fabric is made to run over the pulleys P1 and P2 operated by an electric motor M given in the figure such that it ascends on the side of the combs. Comb C1 near the lower pulley is connected to higher voltage rectifier or it is HVR high voltage rectifier whose other end is grounded. Comb C2 near the upper pulley is connected to the sphere S through a conducting rod. A tube with the charged particles to be accelerated at its top and the target at the bottom is placed as shown in the figure. So bottom end of the tube is earth for maintaining lower potential. To avoid the leakage of charges from the sphere, the generator is enclosed in a steel tank filled with air or nitrogen at very high pressure. For example, you can take 15 atmospheric pressure. Fine. So now talking about the working of this Van de Graaff generator. So for working of Van de Graaff generator, let us assume the positive terminal of the high voltage rectifier is connected to the COM C1. So due to the action of the points, electric wind is caused and the positive charges are spread onto the belt. The belt made ascending by electric motor and pulley carries these charges in the upward direction. The comb is induced with the negative charges which are carried by conduction to linear surface of the collecting spheres through a metallic wire which is in turn induces positive charges on the outer surface of the dome. The comb C2 being negatively charged causes electric wind by spraying negative charges due to the action of points which neutralize the positive charges on the band. Therefore the belt does not carry any charge back while descending. Thus the principle of conservation of charge is also obeyed. The process continues for a longer time to store more and more charges on the sphere and the potential of the sphere increases considerably. When the charge on the sphere is very high, the leakage of charges due to ionization of surrounding air is also increases. Maximum potential occurs when the rate of charge carried by uh, the belt is equal to the rate at which charge leaks from the shell due to ionization of air. Now, if the positively charged particles which are to be accelerated are kept at the top of the tube, they get accelerated due to the difference in potential fine, and uh, are made to f hit the target for causing the nuclear reactions. Fine. So there are some uses of Van de Graaff generators. So Van de Graaff generators basically used to produce high uh, potential difference of uh, the uh, order of several million volts for accelerating charged particles 
the beam of accelerator charged particles are used to trigger nuclear reactions the beam is also used to break atoms for various experiments in physics in medicine also such beams are used to treat cancer so it is used for different research purposes also so this was the working construction and principle of van de graaff generator along with some uses so this is very important topic in electrostatics also fine stay home stay safe